All right, so this time uh, we're going to use a different formula. Yesterday we used the sum and subtraction formulas, and today we're going to use the doubled angle. All right, here's what I've been given. I've been given the sine ratio, and I've been told that it's not in quadrant four. First of all, with that info, can you tell me which quadrants I'm in? In quadrant three. Okay, so let's talk about sign. What letters, as in X, Y, R, do I have? Y and R. Okay, so here's my triangle. Can you get me a side over there? Okay, I can already tell you whatever you get will be a negative because it's an X left. Get negative four. All right, so here's what I'm going to do beside this. I'm just going to write, well, I know that the sine of this angle is negative three fifths. And I'm going to write the cos of this angle is negative four fifths. Okay, this is all our old stuff. X over R, right? Okay, so this is the angle that I'm working with, something like that, okay? We're going to try to figure out if we doubled that angle, okay? So I don't know where this angle is, if it's twice as big, right? If it's twice as big, what is going to happen? That's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so sine of 2a, we're going to go here to our formula sheet, sine of 2a, and here's the formula, 2 sine a cos a. Okay, so that's from the formula sheet, the doubled angle that's what we're dealing with. If we double the angle A. Okay, what is sine of A? Negative 3 fifths. What is the cos of A? Negative 4 fifths. Okay, maybe to help your math, you might want to throw that over 1, just to make sure you're not mixing up what to multiply. Okay, so on the top, can you make sure you're doing 2 times a negative 3 times a negative 4? And on the bottom, you would have a 1 times a 25, or sorry, times a 5 times a 5. So that's the value. <clears throat> okay, what's the cos value for the angle that's the doubled angle? So on your formula sheet, there's three to pick from. You have three to pick from, and it doesn't matter. I'm going to go with the first option, okay? Cos squared A Subtract sine squared A. <clears throat> okay, so the cos value is negative 4 fifths, and I got to square that. Subtract the sine value squared. So here's where I get mistakes. 
people not understanding their negatives and positives. So please be careful. So when I square this, it's going to be 16 over 25, positive. Okay, positive. And then I'm going to subtract. And then this is going to turn into positive 9 over 25. Okay? But there was a subtract. So then this ends up being 7 over 25. So I do know that whatever this angle was, when I doubled it, it will be in quadrant 1 because the sine is positive of it and the cos is positive, so it has to be in quadrant 1. <clears throat> okay, tan to A. There is a formula, okay? You can go ahead, you can figure out tan, you can do that, but I'm going to tell you something different. Did you know that tan of an angle, we've learned this, is the same as sine over cos? Did we talk about that? Because it's the same as a y over an x, right? So how can I transfer that to this? This should be the same as sine 2a divided by cos 2a. Okay, that's going to be way easier for me because I already have those numbers. Okay, you can easily have done the whole formula thing on this though. Okay, so sine 2a, so 24 over 25, divided by 7 over 25. <clears throat> if you get math, you would understand you could probably cross those 25s out, and I'm okay with that. If you don't understand what's going on, you could go times and flip. Instead of dividing fractions, you times and you flip. And then they do cross out. So you get 24 over 7. Okay? So some of you might have understood if those were both on the bottom. You could have just done that. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to flip. Okay, so all this stuff we're going to be working with today is not unit circle stuff. Okay, on this one. So last time we doubled an angle, this time we're going to subtract two angles again, which we did yesterday. But this time, we're not doing unit circle stuff. Okay, we have an angle A and an angle B. We have two different angles. Um, they're both in the same quadrant. Okay, so let's go with A and B. What quadrant are they both going to be in? Okay, so we know cos is negative. Okay, so what are my options right now? I could have been in those. Here, I know in this, tan is positive, so where could I be? So angle B could be that, angle A could be that, and they both have to be in the same quadrant. So they're both in quadrant three. They're different angles. I know I'm making them all look the same, but they're different. Okay, now, cos, give me my letters. X and R. Cos. 
So this side is Did you get negative 24? Negative, because it's down. Okay, now in this chart, I'm gonna write the sine ratio, so negative 24 over 25. And the cosine ratio was negative seven over 25. It was actually given. And I don't even think I need the 10, so I'm just not gonna write it, that's okay. We don't need it. Okay. Let's talk about angle B. Did you go over 25 because it's the highest number? Um, because my ratio should say my Y divided by my R. So. Yes, and R is always the largest number because it's the hypotenuse of it. Okay, so angle B, what letters do I have? The 15 is the Y and 8 is the X. Okay, so the y is 15, and the 8 is x. Does that make sense with its location, what's going on? They're all negative. That's why that's positive, because they're actually both negative. Okay, so then this, I need that. So make sure you're adding. I think it's 17, right? <clears throat> okay, so now sine is negative 15 over 17, right, y over r, and cos, okay, now here's what we want to know, <clears throat> we want to do, what is the cos of the angle, if I was to subtract angle A and B, what, what's the cosine value there? <clears throat> okay, so grab your formula sheet. Cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Okay, so if I did subtract the angles I'm trying to figure out what's the cos of that new angle. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I'm going to go like this, so I'm lined up. <clears throat> I'm going to give myself brackets like that. I'm going to fill in four different things. Okay, and we're ready to fill it in because we've already organized it all. So cos A, negative 7 over 25. The cos of angle B, the sine of A, and then the sine of B. Okay, so all this stuff was just pre-work, and then we could fill it right in. Okay, so let's do our math here. Negatives, negatives, make positive, 56. And then this bottom number is 425. What kind of sign do you want to have going on on the next thing here? Two positives again? Or two negatives, make positive? I don't put them where? In rows. I added them together. The 56 plus the 360. So 
sorry, what did, I'm not sure I understood your question. So if you look at the first page, yeah. the answer is we have root 6 plus uh, minus root 2. Oh, no. These aren't roots, so I can put them together. Yeah. I can just go 56 plus 360 on that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think? Do you want to do a whole another one? Yep, one more. Let's do, okay. Okay. A, angle A, angle B. Okay, uh, well, neither angle's in quadrant one, so that's out. Cosecant, what is that the flip of? Sine. So sine is positive. Where's angle A? Angle A is in quadrant two, because it's not allowed to be in quadrant one. Um, where is angle B? Tan is positive. It's in three. <coughs> Okay, so there we got the angles in their quadrants. They weren't allowed to be in angle one, in quadrant one. Okay, in angle or in angle A here, I have what letters? We got a R of five and a Y. Is that right? So put the R and the Y. Okay, maybe you're getting good at this triangle. How many is this? What four, five? Do you know that special triangle yet? Three, four, five triangle? So that's a three. What kind of three should it be? Positive or negative? Negative. negative. So if I want to write the sign, I'm going to go four fifths. And the cos is negative three fifths. Okay, we're getting faster at that, x over r. I don't know why I put tan on here, we don't need it. Okay. B, I've been given tan, so I have a y and an x. I have a y number and an x number. <coughs> and all negatives, that's why I had a positive in there. Okay, did we get an R in your calculation? 13? So sine is going to be negative 12 thirteenths. And cos? Okay, you got your X over R, Y over R, and then the X over R. Okay, so I'm trying to find the cos. If I was to add those two angles together and then figure out the cosine value of the new angle, what would I get? Okay, so give me a formula. It should be cos A, cos B, cos, cos. And then when you do the cosine law, have you noticed that it's the opposite? Subtract, sine, sine. Okay, everyone's good with the formula, fine. Okay, I like to set this all up just so I'm right ready, four brackets. And then can you replace, we've already done all this work.
Okay, so on the tops here, we're going to have to be real careful with signs, positives, negatives. So you should have positive 15 on the first one, over 65. That was good. And some of you might have done a subtract negative 48. And some of you might have just put a plus 48. Right? Doesn't matter. Subtracting that negative will add it, right? So that is the cosine value of this new angle that we have. Okay, in part B, I asked you to find the sine. If I add the angles together, what's the sine? So the formula Okay, finding the formula in your formula sheet, give yourself four brackets, plug in all the values that you have, make your replacements, check when you're done, did you replace them? Okay, so I'm getting a negative 20 over 65 on the first, and a plus 36 on the second. <clears throat> okay, so here's the last question. If I was to take this angle and take this angle and add them together, where do I land? What's the coordinate? So the coordinate in math is always x comma y. What does the x associate with in trig? The cos And the sine always associates with the, or sorry, the y always associates with the sine. So my answer would be that's the coordinate of the point. Okay, so I just put the cosine value, comma the sine value, because cos is the x stuff, sine is the y stuff.